was I was four at the time actually, and uh, I asked Santa Claus for my first first puppet, and Santa delivered, and so it was just awesome. I pulled the string and, and he spoke, and a voice came out of it, out of the puppet, and I was just. Oh, you want to start off with it? Start off with music. Do you know why they were laughing earlier? Yeah, I'm naked. No, I've never actually seen them walking around, but I, I've been I've been told they they do things. Yeah, we do things. We we, we don't tell him. He's, we don't tell him. He's, you know, he he will be upset. Yeah. What kind of things, Terry? Uh, you know, the things you can't talk about on TV. I was just amazed that you could make a. Th another thing talk and do what you wanted and you could control it you had total control uh, so bass drum right one two three one two three one two three okay go ahead People make that leap, that especially little children. They, they believe in instantly uh -huh. that the dog really talks. Yeah. Well, what, what did you do today, Doug? Well, I went outside and came back in. Went outside, came back in. Went outside, came back in. For whatever reason, I was one of the seven nobodies selected to perform at the International Red Ventriloquist Convention in Cincinnati. Wow. And to perform in front of 400 ventriloquists I didn't sleep for two nights, you know, and then afterwards they critiqued you in front of 400 people. If I'd known they were going to critique me, I never would have done it, <laughs> you know, because of, oh my word, you know. Go, go ahead, just put it on. Okay. There's some Velcro straps there. You just want to adjust it. Okay, that's great. So this is, uh, this is now, uh, this is now Rachel. Yeah. Yes. And then, okay. This is Rachel. Hi, do you date dogs? Yes, I dated a lot of dogs. Yes, I really have. I, I dated a lot of dogs. I got the Jessica Lose. I got the Jessica Lose. I forget, somebody said, you look like Santa Claus. And they said, you should do Santa. And it, was, it was somebody else's idea. And then I belong to the New England San Santa Association. There is, I think, over 300 Santas. I'm the only one that doesn't have to bleach my beard. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Let's start, let's start some words. Yo, Santa in a sleigh. Yeah. Yeah. Jingle bells, Santa smells. See your stick, Santa. I found the Jerry Mahoney professional replica puppet. Mm -hmm. I bought that, and then I started going to open mics because you have, to, you have to find out what's funny. And you can practice all day in front of a mirror, and you don't, you don't know if it's funny. You need an audience, you need a live audience. It's, it's become a, a very good source of income, and, but really by accident. I never really planned this. And I didn't realize people would pay this much money for, for a ventriloquist, but, uh, but I'm having a blast. Yeah, probably the biggest question is who's the, who's the dummy? Okay. You know, meaning I'm the dummy. You know, yeah. <laughs> so it's